Painting Water and Reflections with Len Hend. I find water very simple to paint. Whether I'm painting a waterfall or a river scene, I use the same system to paint my water and reflections. Firstly, we lay down our undercoat for the water. We can blend the lighter tones into the darker tones, working from pure white into the darker foreground. Put your undercoat for the water in as early as possible. Allow this to dry or you can paint wet on wet. Place your reflections in the right position and then with a clean soft brush pull them straight towards you over the top of the wet paint. Your undercoat can be dry or wet at this stage, it doesn't matter. Don't worry too much if your reflections don't resemble what's on the bank. Nobody will notice. And then again when the paint is still wet, with a very clean soft brush, pull it horizontal across the reflections. This will give you very flat water effect and bring your bank down over the water. Have a dark line, a very horizontal line running along the underneath side of the bank. Under that line you can have a white line. Now you can place ripples on the water and this is a good idea when you place your ripples to place them over any mistakes you might see. Also don't stop or start your ripples right on the edge of a reflection. They carry on regardless of whatever's underneath them. Your ripples are close together in the distance and further apart as they come towards you. Them again must be horizontal. When you have your water all finished then it's easy to brush a bit of grass up over it. This will make it look real. Well I hope this helps you with your painting and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye.